Hello and welcome to the ASUG News Studio at ASUG Annual Conference in Sapphire Now. I'm Craig Powers and today I'm, I'm joined by uh, San, um, <coughs> Sanjeev Mukherjee and Mark Paparelli. Uh, Sanjeev is from Deloitte and Mark from National Grid. And we're going to talk about a very important topic for SAP right now. It's the integration of Ariba with uh, SAP ERP and SAP Systems. Uh, SAP purchased Ariba uh, in 2012. So, um, it's, it's good to hear that finally some customers are adopting it, and, and I, I'm excited to hear um, how yours is going right now. Well, it's going great, to be honest with you. Uh, we're into our design, and uh, things are going very well. Great, and so, uh, Mark, I wanted to know, why did you go with Ariba in the first place, and what were you using before for um, you know, procurement? We were using the uh, SUS portal uh, prior to going to Ariba, and then we decided we'd make a very strategic decision um, to move forward with uh, Ariba uh, and to keep things simplistic. Uh, so things have gone very well. And if we look at the market today, it's very global and it's a social economy. And I look at my family, they buy everything on the cloud and they right. enjoy it. And just imagine if we could take business procurement and make it that easy. Uh, it would just change the world. Yeah. That's great. And so, what? Um, so, what, what's Ariba? Uh, it has you're you're going to be able to buy things like 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 you're buying in the cloud on like like your consumer. Yep, we'll be able to do a lot. We'll be able to buy materials and services, uh, and it comes with some benefits. One is um, it's less work, so we'll save through transaction costs, and you actually push a lot of the work to the suppliers versus when you do it uh, yourself. The other big thing we looked at was reducing our infrastructure costs. Um, we don't want to be in that business, we want to be in the procurement business. Right. Um, so it gets us out of that, allows SAP and Ariba to do all the changes in the training, and it's a great step forward for us. Great. And Sanjeev, you're, you're helping with that with that uh, change over, that integration with us. Uh, yes. So what, what, uh, what is National Grid uh, integrating Ariba with, and what are they using right now for their you know ERP system? Yeah, so National Grid had uh, SAP ECC, SAP SRM, and uh, SUS. So as Mark said, uh, we are replacing SUS and we are implementing ASN and APC, which is Ariba Supply Network and Ariba Procurement Catalog. So uh, there are some things which we are doing for the first time, uh, like we are integrating um, SRM with uh, ASN, and there are some very strong functionalities which we are building as far as integration is concerned. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's looking towards the future, as Mark said. And, and what, uh, what tools are you using to integrate? Or um, I guess would be a better way to ask it is how is the in integration going and in that uh, has there been any challenges or, or do you have any advice for other companies? Yeah, definitely. So uh, most of the mapping which we do is using PI, but we also have Ariba integration toolkit. So uh, since um, SAP acquired Ariba uh, you know, a couple of years back, uh, there are some integration challenges, but not like something which is groundbreaking. Right. Uh, we have come across a lot. We have just finished the design phase and we are into the build phase right now. The build is going very smoothly, uh, which means that we are building the functionality and uh, there's not anything major which needs to be highlighted. Smoothly is always a great word um, for any customer to hear, I'm sure, Mark. Um, what, are, what, are you, what are you excited about most uh, once, once you have this, this Ariba functionality integrated with your, your ERP system? It's how we change procurement, and I think it's just the first step in starting to streamline and integrate into, again, to, to more cloud functions uh, and really expand the business. That's where growth in, right. in the, uh, the states are going, and like to be ahead of that. Right, and I guess uh, if uh, either one of you could jump in on this, what if, if, if another customer is looking to integrate in Ariba, going in maybe the preparation, what are some tips? You know, you, you went with Deloitte, uh, maybe with some tips on how you selected a partner. So I think uh, to be successful in some of the lessons we learned, um, one, you need executive approval uh, and a strong business case return on investment. And then you need to have governance, a plan. And part of that planning was choosing the right partner. SAP and Deloitte have worked very well for us and they're actually working on a bigger program. Uh, but choosing the right partner is definitely uh, part of the equation. What about you, Sanjeev? Do you have any tips for any customers that may be looking to do this? Yeah, so uh, this Ariba integration at National Grid is a part of a much larger uh, program. Uh, it's called the Foundation Program for Shared Services. 
So uh, one of the things which I would recommend is uh, when a customer is looking at Ariba, you need to look at what are the other things which is happening in the landscape. So if there are any finance transformations which are happening, if there are any payroll transformations which are happening, right. um, integrating those things is also a very crucial step to get, get towards the end state. And uh, it will uh, pay you later on uh, when you know you have the full full blown solution. Right, doing your preparation, making sure you pick good partners, always great advice for, for any implementation or integration. Well, I thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. For more customer stories just like National Grid, head to asugnews.com.